It ends Tuesday. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. A homicide investigation is underway after a toddler was found unresponsive at a park in the Antelope Valley. We'll have the very latest. I'm Eric Spoolman. UCLA Chancellor Gene Block testifies in front of a House committee this morning about how he handled the recent pro-Palestinian demonstrations and encampment on campus. We'll have the latest coming up live. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera. A nightmare for a local jewelry store owner after nearly a million dollars worth of cash and gold are stolen by what police are calling a sophisticated heist. We hear from the owner and his... Uh, what his plans to do next are. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. A new royal portrait drawing strong reaction this morning. Some say the artwork of Princess Catherine is even worse than the red painting of King Charles we showed you last week. And good morning. We've got a first look at Celine Dion's new documentary where she's opening up about some of her health issues. Plus, the Deadpool ticket frenzy already breaking the box office. We're going to tell you all about that as the KTLA Morning News continues. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, Long Beach, looking at the uh, bridge uh, across Long Beach right there. Clouds still hanging in in most areas. It's going to be a bit of an overcast start to the day. 66 will be the high for the beaches. 67 degrees in downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando, and downtown. Possibly some light sprinkles through the early morning hours. Up to 70 Orange County Inland, Inland Empire, and the high desert. Uh, most cities far enough inland to give you lots of sunshine. 76, and then the high desert, 83 degrees. Kirk. All right, Mark, thanks very much. Uh, the commute really picking up uh, this morning in Harupa Valley. We begin the 60 East at Valley Way. Uh, one left lane is open now following a crash, a major crash involving about six different cars. As you can see already, a slowdown registering on the map on the 60 East uh, approaching generally the 215 area. Uh, now for drivers in Ventura County, good morning to you. Here's a look at how your commute is coming together. As you can see, some trouble spots popping up not only on the 118, but also the 101. Looks like a smooth going there on the 23 in Ventura County. Well, that's the latest on your morning commute from the traffic center. Frank, now back to you. Kirk, thank you. UCLA Chancellor Gene Block is on Capitol Hill this morning. He's testifying about the recent student protests on campus and the violent arrests that followed them. KTLA's Eric Spillman live in the newsroom with the latest developments. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. Just a few minutes ago, Chancellor Block admitted to the House committee that UCLA should have taken action sooner to remove the encampment of pro-Palestinian demonstrators on the UCLA campus. Here's a live picture now of the hearing taking place in Washington, D.C. It's titled, Calling for Accountability, Stopping Anti-Semitic College Chaos. UCLA uh, Chancellor Block has been testifying. So are the presidents of Northwestern and Rutgers universities. Chancellor Block has been answering questions about what happened at UCLA over the last several weeks. On April 30th, he ordered police to dismantle the tents and barricades set up by pro-Palestinian protesters outside of Royce Hall. Several hundred of them were arrested. Uh, a day earlier, pro-Israel counter-protesters had attacked the encampment. Several people were injured. Police were, were slow to respond to that violence. This morning, Chancellor Block told the House committee he now understands that UCLA administrators should have acted faster. With the benefit of hindsight, we should have been prepared to immediately remove the encampment if and when the safety of our community was put at risk. We have since taken decisive action. I created a new Office of Campus Safety that reports directly to me. Finally, we will hold accountable all those engaged in violence or violated our policies. Now, while the pro-Palestinian encampment was still up at UCLA, there were reports that some Jewish students were prevented from entering walkways and even the library. Some were asked, are you a Zionist? And they reported that if they said yes, they were denied entry into campus buildings. This morning, the Republican chair of the hearing criticized Block for letting the protest go on for as long as it did. You cleared the encampment only after a violent riot erupted. For days, you stood by as Jews were assaulted and the illegal checkpoints blocked access to campus in broad daylight. Your actions were too little, too late. All right, we're going to continue to follow what's happening at that hearing, but first we want to show you this live picture from the UCLA campus right now from Sky.